Hi there and welcome to Beauty Talk. My name is Linda and if you didn't know me already, I love everything about skincare, makeup and beauty and even fashion. And today I'm going to share with you how I created this makeup look for Valentine's Day. Whether you're going to be on a date with your significant other or you're going to go out with your friends just to have a really nice time, I thought that I wanted to create this makeup look. I wanted to create something that was nice and fresh, youthful, very dewy, classic but with a hint of color. It has a little bit of this purple and lilac just for a hint of color and for something extra special. And I think it turned out really nice. So if you want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. But first I want to ask you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me that you would join my channel so that this community can keep on growing community and my channel. It's really important that you do that. And also don't forget to leave me a like because that will let me know that you like this type of videos so I can keep on creating them. And you can also go follow me over on Instagram. I share more beauty tips, more beauty videos, but also a little bit of my personal life if you're interested in getting to know me a little bit better. And having said all that, I think we're ready to start the video. So, all right, let's get started. I just wanna share that I've already done my skincare a few hours ago. And I want to share that the sunscreen that I use today is this one from Hamish. The packaging is disgusting. I'm sorry about that. This is the Artless Glow Base from Hamish. And this is an amazing sunscreen that almost works like a primer because it gives exactly like that radiance. It's got like this pearlescent finish. They actually have a new one that's tinted that I'm really wanting to try. This one's really great. And you can get this over on Yes Style and you can use my discount code so that you can get an extra 5% off your order. And if you like, you know, if you really like uh, Korean skincare products in K-Beauty and J-Beauty too, Japanese beauty, because they also have Japanese products over there, uh, you can sign up to the influence program using my link and then you will get a free product every month so just letting you know about that and now I'm going to start off with my eyes and for that I'm going to prime my eyelids using my concealer here's my concealer this one is from by Terry it's the hyaluronic hydra concealer and this is a beautiful concealer especially for under the eyes if you have very dehydrated under eyes this is great however I have a very light shade, which is not working really well for my for my under eyes. It looks way too light. So the way I've been making the most of the products, I don't want it to go to waste, is using it to prime my eyelids. And it works really well that way. With a concealer brush, I am just going to blend it in. And that is going to prime my eyelids so that the eyeshadow can be applied a lot more seamlessly and so that it can stay put as well and it's just going to help also with the longevity of the eyeshadow. I think I've shared on my channel this powder before but this is the one from Charlotte Tilbury and this is I believe it's called the airbrush flawless finish setting powder and this is a mini size and the reason why I haven't shared it before in my channel is because I usually carry it in my handbag because it's so small and cute and it's perfect for touch-ups so I'm going to use this one with a uh, eyeshadow brush let me see I've got my trusty blending eyeshadow brush that I'm going to use to set the concealer so I'm going to lock that in place and that is going to be like a blank combust so that the eyeshadow is going to go on really nice and smooth. The thing I forgot to mention is that I did my eyebrows off camera just to save some time and because I have shown you several times especially in my more recent videos how I do my eyebrows and I first used this this eyebrow pen from NYX. It is the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. This is really good in ash brown and then I used the gel from Got To Be uh, to set them and to make sure that they're nice in place so i am conscious that i've showed you this palette in my last few videos but i need to make more use of it and why not make use of it in this time february you know especially for valentine's day i definitely want to make a look that is a little bit not so heavy but still with a pop of color and obviously having the base that is going to be a very natural and glowy base. 
So let's see if we can achieve that. If I don't, uh, you know, get carried away and do too much on my eyes. But I think this uh, this eyeshadow palette is fabulous from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Beautyverse palette that was released last year, and when it's this, and it was especially great for you know parties and things like that. But you also have these colors up here that are that are matte, and they're very nice for everyday use as well. So let's play around and see if we can, you know achieve something with this and the way I've used it before and I've showed you several times I really like using I really like using the light brown shade because it's like a very nice shade for contouring the eyes especially if you are like me I mean I'm already almost hitting pan there especially if you're like me my eyes are not deep set they're slightly hooded and I like to make them look like they're a little bit more hollow I think that that adds depth and makes the eye also looks a little bit look a little bit more you know more sensual in my opinion so i'm going to start off just by sort of like nestling it there in my crease this eyeshadow color to create a little bit of depth just do like charlotte Tilbury would say wind swiping motions back and forth just sort of like hugging the socket and creating more of a socket definition that's exactly what i want to do dipped in again and i'm just nestling it there again focusing more in the outer corner and then slightly dragging it outwards so to create that little bit of a lifted effect of the eye take another brush and i'm going to go into the second brown just to add a little bit more depth. I'm just gonna basically do the same process, but I'm gonna try and do it a little bit more below that that eyeshadow, the first eyeshadow application. So just again, start with the outer corner. You've probably seen me do it tons of time, times, but this is really like a base of most of my eyeshadow looks. It really works really well for me. Just dragging it out a little bit. Outwards. And there we go. It's very subtle. I'm just going to take the first brush that I used and I'm going to just blend everything together. Make sure that it looks seamless. Now, for the lids, I really want my eyelids to look kind of more more natural. I don't want to have too much there except for a wing liner, like a black, clean black liner. But I I just want them to look almost like wet. So I'm going to try and use this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Wand in the color Spotlight to see if, if that creates that effect that I want. So let's try it out. I'm going to take a little bit just in the back of my hand. I'm going to take it with my finger and see if I can... Yeah. Okay, maybe that's working. Just want it like almost like a little bit wet, wet looking. Yeah, I think that is it's very subtle. So I just want it on the mobile lid. Just gonna take a tiny brush and I'm gonna take a little bit and just put that also in the inner corner. It's a very subtle highlight, this product, which is nice. So it really does give that natural effect. So before I do my liquid liner, I'm gonna do some tight lining and I'm going to use this pencil from Rimmel London. It's called the Scandalize Exager Eye Definer in Intense Black. I'll be fully transparent with you. This is not my favorite eyeliners. It, although it's supposed to be waterproof, it still transfers a little bit. I think, you know, most eyeliners, even though they're waterproof, will transfer, but this one somehow is still not my favorite. So I'm just gonna try and tight line. It's never very sexy when I do this, so I'm sorry. <laughs> so it almost looks like not much right now, 
because I want to add like a wing liner and my plan is to add some color at the bottom of my eyes. So let's see how that goes. But now let's do the wing liner. And for the wing liner, I'm going to use this eyeliner, which is from Iconic Lander and it's called Enrich and Elevate Eyeliner. And it's a double ended eyeliner. So it has this tiny bit tiny eyeliner here that is great for doing the siren eye or inner corner and then you have the bit of a thicker liner on the other side so ah! that's great i want to try and do like a very small wing eyeliner let's see if i can achieve that and i'm gonna see if i can start off by using the thinner side of this eyeliner and I will go really close to my eyelashes. The other thing is I just wanted my eyeliner to be you know from the middle outwards and I like that because I feel that suits my eye shape better because I have my eyes quite close I don't like to get like the line all the way in here or do too much of the siren eye because that makes my eyes look a little bit more closer and I want my eyes to look a little bit more further apart. So that's why I like doing my eyeliner that way. So I'm going to start just by getting really close to my eyelashes and from the middle out. Then I'm going to try and use the other side to do the rest of the wing. And look straight ahead and I have a bit of a fold, I usually mention this. I'm going to try and see if I don't get the fold involved, but otherwise I'm just going to try and just not move, not breathe. Right, that is my wing. Not too bad. It's got a little bit of a V shape there because of the hood, but otherwise it's not looking too bad. Let's see if I can achieve the same with the other eye. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it came, it came out a little bit thicker than I wanted because I kept on kind of like correcting it, you know how it is. But <laughs> I think I'm not mad about it and I'm going to keep it like that. I think it looks really nice. And now I'm going to start with the base. And for that first, I'm going to try and correct my under eyes and I'm going to use some sort of, I like using some sort of eye cream that's going to help to rehydrate this area, especially because I suffer with very dehydrated under eyes and we're in the winter. So I feel the need of using an extra layer of eye cream or sun serum that's going to help to rehydrate this area and so that when I use concealer, it's going to apply a lot more smoother and it's going to look a lot more fresh and it's not going to kind of like settle in wrinkles or look crusty and or anything like that. And I have this sample. This is an old product from Charlotte Silver. Hurry if I can find it, if it's still available, I will, I will link it down below. But this is, it's called the, the Mini Miracle Eye Wand. And I, I don't know if she doesn't have this product anymore. It's very sad because I like that it has a serum and then it has a concealer. So it's very, very practical in that sense. But otherwise, any sort of eye cream can do, although some work better than others. But anyway, I'm going to take a little dot. I'm going to use it to refresh that area again, all the way to here. So here I do get especially on this side, somehow on my left side, I definitely get a lot more like dehydrated, like like dry patches as well. So I am just in that. Really sad my nails broken, especially when I have to do YouTube videos with broken nails. It's really sad, but that's that. So I'm gonna take a tad bit more. I'm gonna take it behind my hand a little dot, you don't really need much. And I'm gonna take a little Q-tip. These are really nice because they're kind of sharp and small. And I'm gonna use that to correct my wing liner. So I'm just gonna perfect it a little more. Sharpen it if you wish. But for the rest of my face, I'm going to use another primer just to rehydrate because my skin has been prepped for a few hours now. 
and I'm going to use this one from Guerlain, which is the Lore 24 Carat Radiance Primer. I think that's the name. I feel like I see the name different in different websites. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. It's very runny. Focus it all over the face, really. I'm just going to press it into the skin. This is going to help grip foundation a little better. But my skin is quite nice and glowy because of that sunscreen that I shared with you earlier. Foundation, I have this sample of the Chanel foundation. This is, I think it's called the Healthy Glow, Le Beige Healthy Glow Foundation. I have several foundations from Chanel and I really love their foundation. Somehow they just work really well for me. I really like how they look on my skin. And I've never tried this one, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put a picture so you can see what it looks like. And I'll also leave it down, I will leave it linked down below. And this is, the color of this foundation is B20. That's my usual color in Chanel. And because I want this makeup to be very glowy, very dewy, uh, I'm gonna use that foundation. So I'm gonna put a little bit at the back of my hand. It's very, very, seems to be quite runny. She's nice, it's quite light. I'm going to take it with a brush and I'm going to spread it all over. I sort of dab a little bit and then sort of like to the outer perimeters of my face I will buff a little more because I don't need that much coverage on there. But it's very, feels almost like nothing this foundation, it feels very lightweight. This is nothing new, I know, but I like exploring some of the classic foundations out there. And I do like Chanel stuff, so I feel that just, I really like their products, I'm a big fan. <laughs> I love asking for, for samples, I think that's the best way to make sure that you're picking the right foundation, especially if you're buying something that's expensive. Always, always ask for a sample and then you can be sure that you're buying something that really works well for you. So I'm just taking a little bit more, whatever's left, and I'm going to focus it on the center of my face. That's where I usually get, or I usually need more coverage. But I like how lightweight it feels, you know? It feels very, very lightweight on the skin. I can't say if it's very high. I mean, it feels nice, it feels nice. It doesn't feel wet but it feels, feels really nice. Actually. I'm interrupting the video just a little bit to talk to you about this channel and its growth. So Beauty Talk is a space where I talk about makeup, I share makeup tutorials and product reviews and potentially even fashion, fashion reviews, hopefully soon. However, in order to create all this content and all this content and you know makeup tutorials and product reviews and to be able to create honest reviews i need to invest time energy and even resources to create all these things all of the products that i've shared with you so far in my channel i purchase with my own money and it can be very harsh on my bank account to be honest so i have set up a donation button or donation link down below in the description box so that if you wish to contribute to the growth of this channel beauty talk and this community you can make a small contribution to do so and this will be supporting my channel so that i can be able to purchase products to continue to share the newness and more you know beauty reviews and makeup tutorials with all the new stuff or maybe the classic stuff that already is out there maybe you can also make a contribution and tell me what are the brands or specific products that you wish for me to to share here in the channel and if you do decide to make that contribution i want you to know that i am so so grateful and hopefully if i get enough contributions i will do maybe a giveaway and i will do that giveaway from the money of my own pocket so not from the contributions for the channel but from my own own money so if you do so again thank you so much and now i'll let you continue with the video okay so this is the foundation it's very natural very sort of radiant 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Touche Clan from YSL, which is in the color 1. And this is going to help brighten a little bit my under eyes and slightly correct a little bit any under, any under eye dark circles. So I'm going to apply that just here. It's usually where I tend to get a little bit of darkness. I did get a good night's sleep, but I want a little bit more brightness. And for that, I use this color before I go in with my my concealer. For this, I'm going to use a sponge and I'm just gonna dab that. And you can see how much it almost brightens immediately. It looks so much better. I'm gonna go in with another color that is more like a concealer color and I'm gonna use the 1.1 of the same Touche Clan. This one has more of like a yellowy undertone. And this is not a concealer per se, but I use it as a concealer, this color. It just works really well for me. But for better coverage, you have the Touche Clan High Cover. I think that's what it's called. I love that one's also one of my favorite concealers. Although the new All Hours one is really, really good. So you can see this has more of a yellowy tone and I'm just going to use it also in the center of my face because you can use it to brighten those areas to bring them forward a little bit here you can also use a little bit there to kind of lift as well and again with my sponge I'm going to blend that I have to say I like how this foundation is looking it really looks very natural it's almost imperceptible on the skin very nice foundation this one from chanel this is the healthy glow the beige healthy glow foundation i think looks i like how it looks i really like how it looks i'm i'm having some struggles in this area because like i mentioned i have very dehydrated this area and i think i needed to prep it properly and sometimes what i do is i actually use vaseline under my eyes and that works very very well this is not going to work for everybody, but it works really well for me, especially if you get that crusty looking feel with uh, with correct concealer and things like that. And yeah, it's a little bit dry here, but I'm going to go with it. OK, and I'm going to use as my bronzer because I want everything to be very luminous and radiant. Right. So I'm going to use as bronzer. This is the Brighten CC Serum from by Tari in Sunny Flash, which is this nice bronzy color, which if you're tan, it's just going to look like a nice, you know, radiant primer. But if you're fair, it's going to work almost like a bronzer. So I'm going to use that I have to shake it up. Last time I used it, I forgot to do that and it didn't look very nice. So I like to put it a little bit in the back of my hand and then I will take a brush. Make sure I blend it in the brush first. And then I'm going to apply it where I would normally apply my bronzer, where the where the sun would normally hit my face. And it's such a beautiful product to use as a bronzer because it's so lightweight, but it gives that radiance, also like very natural looking. So I know I'm quite fair, so this product works well for me. Maybe if you're a little bit darker, you can still get away with using it like the same way I do, it will probably just show up a little less. But look at that. Look how it just gives that warmth and dimension to the face and just gives that healthy feel to the skin. I try to bring whatever's left to my ears so that everything looks connected. I also put a little bit on the bridge of my nose and a little bit whatever's left under my shin and neck like this. So everything looks like, you know, it belongs. I'm loving this bronzer. Love that warmth. But if I feel like I went overboard with my bronzer, I'm just going to take my sponge, beauty sponge, and I'm just going to go over that to make sure that I didn't overdo it. Take again the highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury, the beauty wand, and I'm going to use it as my highlighter. And I like applying it before because I feel like when I do it after, mess up with the blush or something so i'm just gonna apply a little bit the back of my hand so i took some at the back of my hand and i'm gonna take it with my finger and i'm going to apply it 
finger. I feel that this is the best way to apply it without messing with my makeup too much. I'll take whatever's left and I'll put it on the bridge of my nose and a little bit at my cupid's bow. Look at that. It's looking very really nice. Then I'm going to use again from Charlotte Tilbury her Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. And this is in the color Pinkgasm. So this is a blush that has highlight. So it's going to give that, you know, more of a radiant look. And I really like it. It's very nice. So I'm going to take it the same. I'm going to put a little bit at the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to first put as much as I can in the brush and then I will apply it on my face. I'm just do tapping motions, tapping motions because I don't want to disturb the foundation. Oh wait, there's a hair here on the brush. Okay, but this is really nice, this blush, because it's radiant so it really look, makes the skin look very nice. See, <laughs> however you want to call it which I think is the perfect look for Valentine's Day. You want to look glowy, radiant. I don't know, I like that look. All right, let's set the base and I'm gonna use again the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I'm gonna take a bigger brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of this powder and I'm going to set my under eyes a little bit and just sort of the center of my face. That's usually where I like to set my face. You can see how it really knocks off some of that shine. So I'm gonna apply a little bit on my forehead. You can see the difference already. But then, you know, I keep the shine on the side. I feel like I want a tiny little bit more of blush and I'm gonna use my Givenchy Prison Libre. Prison Libre, I think that's what it's called in French. And this is in the color Taffetas Rose. I think it's number two Taffetas Rose. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this blush. You have to swirl so you can mix all the colors together. Okay, and then I'm gonna apply just the tiniest little bit, sort of like in that highest point of my cheek. Okay. Just to intensify that blush, because I, I really like blush. Yeah, that's that's what I want. It's so taking a little bit of the glow, but when I set everything with the setting sprays, everything's gonna kind of mesh together, and that glow is gonna peek through even more. I think I'm ready to get back to the eyes and really create that interesting part of this look, really uh, create that, that you know, the, 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 the star of the show, which is the eyes, and just create a little bit, use a little bit more color, and ma really make it, make this look, complete this look. Because at the moment it's very average maybe, very simple, but now we're gonna make it a lot more interesting. So I'm gonna pick up my palette again from Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm gonna take like a flat brush so that I can do a little bit of contouring with um, the eye. I'm going to take the first brown shade here and I'm going to run it across my lower lash just to kind of contour the eye a little bit. Okay, you can see the difference, kind of like opens the eye a little bit more. I'm gonna use this pencil, this is from NYX or NYX, and it's called, this is Eye Pencil in the color purple. It's a beautiful, more like a lilac color. It's beautiful, I love this color. So I'm gonna use it in the waterline. So it's not like, it's not very intense, these pencils. They're a little bit more on, what would you say? They are not, it's not a matte color and it's not so intense, the pigment in this, but I'm gonna make it work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it in the waterline. I won't be able to appreciate it too much. It's very subtle, but I'm also going to put some of it in the bottom lash. So just really close to the bottom lash. That is going to be 
our touch of color for this Valentine's beautiful makeup. I'm not going too far below my eyelashes because I don't want it. I don't want to drag my eye down. Just want it to be like that subtle hint of color. But to make it even more pretty, enhance it, I'm gonna use the purple color from this palette. Which one is the purple? They both seem purple on the camera. This one seems more pink, but I'm gonna use just this one. I'm gonna take it with this brush with the tip. It's a flat brush. Huh, I think I'm gonna take it and I'm going to use, I'm gonna take it on the brush, but I'm going to use a little bit of a setting spray, my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray so that it doesn't fall because it has shimmer so that it doesn't go all over the place i'm going to take that and i'm going to place it right where i placed oh that's beautiful that pencil liner that is stunning so i created a very similar look like this over on instagram using purple under here it was really nice. I love that look. It was very simple, but I'm making it a lot more intense now. Oh wow, I hope you can see that. It looks really nice. Now I'm ready to curl my eyelashes and I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier curling lash, Laura Mercier eyelash curler. And I'm gonna give them a nice curl. Before I put my mascara, I'm going to set my makeup using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Mist. And that's just going to help all the powders, all the creams, everything come together and mesh with the skin. And it's going to look a lot more um, natural and it's just going to look beautiful. I also like to do this before putting my mascara because I feel that the setting mist can interfere with the mascara and I don't want it to kind of run below my eyes or anything. So for mascara, I'm gonna use this, which is from L'Oreal, it's the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And I have said this before and I said it and I will say it again. It's not my favorite, it's not my favorite. It's good, but it's not my favorite mascara, but I have it and I wanna finish it up. So I'm gonna apply that. I'm going to apply a generous amount of mascara. Just, I really like to focus at the root and I really insist to kind of like push them up. All right, we're nearly there. Let's finish with the lips. And for the lips, I'm going to use this pencil again from Y and again from NYX or NYX. And it is the lip pencil in the color Nude Truffle. I believe this is a very famous color. And I really like it. I also featured it in one of my videos in Instagram. And it's a very nice sort of like nude brownish color that is just perfect for contouring the lips. So I usually like to overdraw my cupid's bow just a little bit. For lipstick, I've chosen this one. This is from L'Oreal, their Color Rich line, and it's in the color 235 Nude. This is a very creamy lipstick, and it's a, it's quite pale, but I really like it for this look. I really want something, I want the face to be very fresh, natural, and dewy. So I, and I really like this color. It's also a very nice, comfortable lipstick, very creamy. also has some shine to it. However, I feel like I wanna add an extra shine. I'm gonna add a little bit of lip gloss. And this is actually a lip oil or lip dew, glossy lip oil. <laughs> this is from Vive and it's called the Lip Dew. Oh, I'm almost finishing. I'm almost finished with this product. It's a really nice product. I'm gonna add that just for some extra, extra juiciness. And that also makes the lips look a lot more voluptuous and just, you know, perfect for this time, for this time. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Hi guys, I think this is great. This is the final look 
I am really loving it. It's very simple, very just very fresh, very, you know, natural looking, but at the same time with that pop of color, which I think is very perfect, very modern. It's very, you know, 2024, I think. We're gonna see lots of pops of color, like purple and blue. And I think that it's perfect for this Valentine's Day. I wanted something a little bit more, a little more fresh, dewy, and just classic but with a pop of color. And I love this look. I don't know about you. Let me know if you like this look and if it makes you feel inspired. But anyway, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you, you know, enjoyed this video and that you feel inspired to create a nice makeup for this Valentine's Day. And I hope you have a great Valentine's Day and I will see you in the next video. Ciao. Oh, nice. I had something between my teeth. I hope it wasn't showing too much and not distracting you. <laughs>